let's go to as far as you can see. So you look out that way, 13.7 billion light years, or that way, or that way, whatever, which way you want to look. And the question a lot of people wonder is, so what is on the other side of that horizon, horizon. cosmic horizon? That's an excellent question. We don't know for sure, but we have very good reason to believe we do know what's there. And this is a little tricky to explain, but if you're, you're with me you're out there, because like I can almost barely, I see like the front two rows and the rest is just, so I don't know if you're asleep by now or not. <laughs> is the back row, there's the back row, okay. <laughs> All right. I would count that as evidence that <laughs> the horizon is in view. Um, all right, you gotta sort of bear with me for like 90 seconds. I think I can do it in 90 seconds. Okay. Because light does not travel at an infinitely fast speed. Travels 180, fast, 186,000 miles per second. That's fast, hmm. but it's not infinite. It's so not infinite that you would be frustrated having a phone conversation with someone on the moon because the delay is three seconds. You would speak, and by the time they heard you reply to them, three seconds would have passed. It, it, it's, it's, it would not make a good phone conversation. That's how long it takes the light just to get to the moon. It takes eight minutes, 20 seconds to get to the sun. It takes 100,000 years to cross the galaxy. It takes a billion years to get to the distant galaxies. 13.7 billion years to cross the known universe. It takes time. All right, put a pin in that fact. Another fact. The universe had a birthday 13.7 billion years ago. So imagine a universe that is infinitely large. Now, put yourself in the middle, and I tell you, this universe was born 13.7 billion years ago. So let's go out to the to the circle, to the sphere around us, go to the spot that's 13.7 billion light years away. In other words, go to the spot where light from objects has taken 13.7 billion years to reach you. You're gonna be watching that object being born because its birth light is just now reaching you. Come in a little bit. You're going to see those in their toddler years. Come in a little bit. They're in the adolescence. Come in a little closer. Come to the present day, and you see everyone in their modern day maturity. So there's a limit to how far you can see in an infinite universe if the universe had a birth date and the speed of light is finite. Wait a billion years. Now the horizon is 14.7 billion light years away. Now you're seeing those galaxies get born. So the interesting thing about the universe in which we live, as long as there's galaxies that get overtaken by this expanding horizon, you will always bear witness to the birth of the universe because somebody is always being born. The interesting part is if the signature of the Big Bang goes away, that would tell you that your horizon washed over a region of the universe where there are no more galaxies to show you their birthday clothes. That mm. would tell you that you in fact reached the edge of the universe. Right now we can only tell you about the edge of our horizon, but that is an ever expanding horizon that's still delivering up the signature of the Big Bang. Is that a function of how m well we can see and the tools we have to view, or is it a function of the fact that the space of our universe space is expanding? Space of the universe, it's just, it's just the physics of the universe. It's, while it's different physics, it's the same notion that if you're a ship at sea, your horizon is the same distance in every direction, and you can't see beyond the horizon. But you know the ocean continues. So in fact, if you moved a little closer in that direction, s more of the ocean comes into view. So that's why we feel really confident that however big the universe is, it's bigger than our current horizon because we're watching the universe get born. Are we also confident that we're Five all billion years ago, we could have watched the universe still being born. Who would have been, who would 
have been being born five billion years ago, the galaxy is five billion light years away. What happens when the galaxies over there are really, really far away from the galaxies over there? So if you everybody's got their own horizon. Yeah. So we are on the edge of a galaxy's horizon 13.7 billion light years in that direction. Mm -hmm. They see us, our light from 13.7 billion years ago is only just now reaching them. So they see us going through the birth of the Big Bang. We are their Big Bang signature right now. So everybody's got their, just like every ship at sea has its own horizon around it. I do get the sense, though, that physicists have now developed I'm screaming a kind at you. I'm sorry. Is that, I'm, I'm screaming at the microphone. Um, that, oh, no, that's okay. What happened here? That physicists... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> There's okay, a kind of neighborly thing beginning to develop, and I want to ask you about it. If I were on a galaxy 37, you know, 313, whatever it was... You didn't say right. A galaxy far, far a away. A galaxy Thank far, you. far away <laughs> in that direction. <laughs> I would have no information about a galaxy equally far in the uh, out from Earth, in the other, other direction, because it would be too great a distance from there to here. Yeah, another way to say what I just said is, go to the 13.7 billion year galaxy. We come to us, we are being born to them. The galaxy, one billion light years there, its birth light has not yet reached that galaxy. So it doesn't know anything about the stuff to my right. Yeah. But wait another billion years, yeah, enough time has passed so that that galaxy's information has reached. So I used to think that the word universe meant the whole thing, and that there was only one. We have them. to specify. There's the observable universe, and then there's the universe that the observable universe is the the light cone is expanding into. Right. Yeah. So, so often when we say how big is the universe, we're giving you the observable universe. How many stars in the universe? Ten to the twenty-one stars, a sextillion stars. That's in the observable universe. There is when in doubt, assume observable universe. 